Hi, I'm David Whitburn and I'm doing a recap of the August 14th, 2012 keynote meeting that the Auckland Property Investors Association had. In terms of the property market, we've had our slump phase from 2008 to 2011 and now Auckland's very firmly in the recovery stage of the property cycle. We're seeing a number of houses selling very, very well. This is area dependent and I'll cover more on that later. Some of the key things are the supply and demand drivers. We've got building consents remaining low. Auckland Council suggests that we need close to 13,000 dwellings each year for the next 30 years. The last three years we've only built 3,000 dwellings a, a year or a little bit under. This year on track for a fraction above 3,500. We've still got strong demand. This, uh, Timaru is uh, uh, about 24,500 people, so we're growing by the size of Timaru each and every year. The other good news is interest rates are likely to stay low for longer as the European Union still struggle their way out. Moving on, we have inflation uh, adjusted prices nearly at the 2007 peak. So that means that real prices are much the same as they were back at the peak of the boom. That is a good indication of the recovery from the slump we've just come out of. It's really important to know that we are in a property slump, uh, sorry, that we are in a property recovery which uh, has followed the property slump. The boom has three phases. There's a boom, there's a bust or a slump or a downturn, and a recovery. Boom, bust, recovery. We're in a recovery right now. There's been some strong growth, and that's been uh, seen with the North Shore prices up in the QB statistics by 7%. Auckland Central, was Auckland City, 7%, and South and West Auckland up 6%. I'll now move on to the next slide, where I'm going to be able to talk to you about the property boom, and we'll be able to look at some statistics from the Real Estate Institute combined with realestate.co.nz, as seen uh, by some members on the unconditional blog. Let's have a look at the New Zealand property market from 1993 to 2012. What we can see here is we've got volumes and values. We've got on the left-hand axis, the red line, uh, sorry, the light blue line, we've got house prices, whereas on the red line, the right-hand axis, we've got sales volumes. You can see that they're actually quite cro uh, closely correlated. So volumes do indeed lead to values. Look at 1993 to 1997, a boom there. 2003 to 2007, a boom there. And then some lower volumes through 98 to 2000, and, and indeed from 2008 to 2011. We'll now move on to another statistic with the proportion of all houses sold each year. The long run average over the last 18 years has been 6% of all of the inventory of New Zealand houses, that's some 1.56 million dwellings being sold. When we're above the line, many say that we're in a property boom, and that has indeed held through with 93 to 97 and 2003 to 2007, showing uh, a higher proportion of uh, houses being sold. Volumes do lead values. Look here, we're certainly not in the boom with 